Hi Astro Addicts, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astro Addict. So the first clear night, not the first silent night, the first clear night in I believe two weeks now or maybe one month even. It's now November, I think the 5th of November and the clouds have been here since the second week of October. So I really looked forward to this night and as the clouds rolled away at about uh, 7 in the afternoon I was really excited. The scope, you saw it already set up. I got this bright light in my in my face, the camera pointing towards me and this time I'm not in the backyard, I'm in the backyard of the backyard I'd say. Because I think when daylight saving time stopped they turned the street light back on and now my normal backyard is completely lit up with street light. Yeah, I hate it too. Scope set up. Since I've got the telescope connected to the PC to plate solve, the auto guiding is running perfectly tonight. I haven't seen a smooth graph like this. I will show you soon. And the target for tonight. Since I don't have the big tree in the way now, next frame is done. The rabbits in the back are making noises. The target for tonight is the Pac-Man Nebula. Well, if you have lots of fantasy, it really looks like Pac-Man. Even like a red version of Pac-Man with two ears, I'd say, with two cat ears. But with some fantasy, I still think it looks like Pac-Man. So good choice on that name, I think. The frames, I'm now trying out either 3 minute or 3.5 minute frames at ISO 800 of course, 800 is go to here in the city for me. Plate solving, Pac-Man was in the frame just within a couple of seconds, perfect. Focusing, I just told to go to Beretstein Cassiopeia where the uh, nebula lies with the Batnov mask. Uh, Focusing perfect. The sky is I think pretty clear now. The next clouds are supposed to be here at midnight I hope they will disappear. I think there are only high clouds on the radar, so I hope they will Loosen up. I'm really excited about the guide graph. I haven't had a guide graph like this ever. Let's check it out Well, I hope it's the change in audio is not too drastic well, the dither there is not looking that good. Come on, get yourself back together. Well, as soon as I was talking about the smooth guiding graph, this happened. But I think it looks pretty good on that end again. So this graph, I got it in pixels from 1 to 3 pixels is the scale. And even if it would be more than 3 pixels, I still think that the image would be sharp. So this is very nice. Well, the guiding problems are again, the graph is back to normal. I think the capture software, the screen capture software, did some something wrong, I don't know. I definitely won't try that again. So I guess you have to stay, we have to stay with the old school screen recording of holding the camera in front of the screen. Well, but if it annoys the astrophotographers, it's out of the way immediately. So the Pac-Man Nebula, as I said, pretty good Pac-Man with lots of imagination. It's a hydrogen emission nebula. Back in, back in the university we had most of these, uh, we already went over most of the stuff. The emission nebulae, one of the oldest things that exist there in the cosmos the hydrogen, the base material of everything, glowing at 656 nanometers wavelength. So I hope at least something is getting through here, through these bottle 8 skies. I, uh, I installed the dew heater for the first time, so I hope the dew heater strap is uh, warming the glass of the telescope enough to keep the dew away. If not, I think I'm gonna have to bump it up again to more power, more wattage, but I think it will be fine. So this emission nebula in Cassiopeia, next frame done. I really hope I can stack lots and lots of 3 second subs. 
And now that I look up there, I can already see the clouds. I hope those are not coming cl any closer. Uh, I think the clouds have been moving this way uh, most of the time today, and I hope they will stay there and go away because I don't need them there right now. It's been a long time since I did uh, just a normal chill let's photograph on this channel and I'm so excited to do more, to do more one-night shots, more traveling and more astrophotography which I think would be a very big problem in winter because of clouds and clouds and clouds. But since I've seen the response on the YouTube channel and on Instagram this is a very big thing and I love it. Okay, I suppose this has to do for now. Guiding looks great. Haven't seen a gu guiding this great in a long time. The star, full width, half maximum, looks nice. Pretty dark skies today. Well, dark to me, portal 8. <laughs> Not very dark. Let's switch to APT. So this is the last shaky frame without the auto guiding. So if I, well, let me just turn my capture software off. I, st I still think it's interfering somehow, I don't know. Just gonna, I hope this won't break anything. Ah, still looks good, okay. So the telescope is connected. Plate solving was done in the setup, I did that already. You can see down here, HEQ5, the Temperature is at twi uh, the sensor is at tw 20 degrees now. I don't know why. It's November and it's 13 degrees out here. It's way too hot. I don't know what's wrong with the climate right now. Well, I think everyone knows what's wrong with it, but let's not talk about that. So the I have to do the meridian flip in well at 10 in the afternoon in 78 minutes. So, I think I will check soon again. The coordinates of the telescope, Alt-S and Declination and Right Ascension, it looks pretty nice. These settings are I chose for the plan today. I went with 3 minute exposures at ISO 800. I'm taking 60 now and hope I can at least take one more set of 50 of 60 frames. Next thing done, looks great, the stars are sharp, but I haven't seen a satellite in the image for a very long time. Nice to see that they are still up there, right? Great. The settings as usual, anti-vibration pause, 3 seconds, white balance set to auto because if it detects anything else, then auto, if it would if it would switch, something is definitely wrong with your image. So I went with three minutes because there's still some color in these stars. At three and a half minutes there the stars would all be completely white, which I don't like. The histogram looks nice, the background sky is in there. The red and the blue completely in front of the green right there light pollution and this tiny red dot in the middle. Hang on. Well, look at that. If I can get 60 frames or maybe even 100 frames of 3 minute subs tonight, this is gonna be amazing. So, if this is the last thing I'd say, I'd say today to you, clear nights clear skies. Next up, Pac-Man Nebula.